Well, we are back with the Who. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. You know, if you're on Discord, you already know I am. Got the case basically thrown out. We walked out with a $25 fine. Bang, 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 bang. Finger guns for days. <laughs> Suck it. All right, um, we are back with the next two tracks on By Numbers uh, by The Who, which is Imagine a Man in Success success Story. Success Story. Damn, that's hard to say. Um, that's the last track of Side 1 and the first track of Side 2. Uh, I think the second one's written by John. So we have an ox song. I'm excited. Let's go. Y'all want to subscribe to help brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you don't mind, leave a like and a comment too. It really helps. All right. First up, Imagine a Man. Oh yeah, and the Who playlist right there if you want to go watch the rest of the catalog. All right. Imagine a Man by The Who in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Imagine a man, not a child of any revolt, but a plain man tied up in life. Imagine the sand running out as he struts, parading and fading, ignoring his wife. Imagine a road so long. Imagine a load so large and so smooth that against it a man is an ant. And you Reminds me behind the lies of events that occur every day, like a shooting, a raping, or a simple Deep act of time. deceit. Imagine a fence around you as high as prudential, cast in shadows you can't see your feet. Okay, Ox, I hear you. Imagine a girl from long. And the body of chalky perfection and truth Okay Imagine a past That you wish you had lived Full of heroes and villains and fools Good line And you You will see the end. 
swear, every time I hear that part, I'm like, they're about to go in hard. Nope. <laughs> that was good, though. Success Story, written by the Ox himself. <laughs> the big break better happen soon Cause I'm pushing 21 Just like Cinderella When she couldn't go to the ball A boy said I'm your fairy manager You shall play a carnegie old What the fuck? Riff is gnarly, dude. Six for the tax man and one for the band. Back in the studio to make our latest number one. Take 276. You know this used to be fun. Oh. Oh my god. Monday morning, I just got home. It's six and the birds are singing. This doesn't sound like it's from I need a this and era. Ooh, and my ears are still ringing. It sounds a way ahead of the <laughs> no. No. That's unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Well, that one kick started everything, man. The first one I I was kind of mixed on that one, not going to lie. Thought it was all right. Um but that second one, Jesus, that was great. <laughs> that was easily the best song on the album so far, other than like Slip Kid, I guess. Um, that didn't even really sound like them. You know what I mean? Like that was, that sounded like a 90s or a 2000s, like alt rock, alternative rock song, you know, with the same riff over and over, um, you know, chorus, bridge, chorus, bridge sort of thing. Um, it's very ahead of its time, at least in that manner, not in like the instrument and the, musical nature of it you know what i mean that, that's definitely the sound quality and such that's definitely of its time but just the the way they approach that song the way john wrote it too with the lyrics and i've noticed that his lyrics are always more down to earth you know pete always deals with like lofty topics or normal like he uses normal situations to talk about said lofty topics you know quadrophenia and all that but he uses the real world stuff very well too but i feel like Ox when he writes, it's like um, it's like a party every time. Like his lyrics are just always, I don't know, like um, more those are like dude lyrics. I, I don't know how to explain it. You know what I mean? Like it, let's go get messed up at the bar. Let's go have fun. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? This sounded like the Who. You know his story. You know the success story. Um, uh, sounded like the 
the rise of a rock band and they just um they're out to party and have a good time and yeah, that's them definitely um i know him and keith were definitely getting down back in the day and i bet so is pete and roger yeah i bet they were getting down too but I guess Keith and Ox are the ones that were famous for it. You wouldn't think it looking at, you know, at Ox, or I should call him John, I guess. The way, the way you look at John, like, he doesn't look like um, a party animal, but he's the Ox. <laughs> um, that Yeah, that second song was excellent. That riff that they just kept repeating, it was so fucking good. That was a good, tasty riff. I love it. Nom, 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 nom. That was weird why you do that. All right. Um, all right. Obviously, Roger Daltrey on lead vocals, Pete Townsend on guitars, keyboards, banjo, accordion, ukulele, blah, blah, blah. Not that. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, John did those vocals on that song, too. The really deep vocals, I'm guessing. That was that freaked me out, bro. I'm not going to lie. I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one coming. I was talking or something. I said, whoa, whoa hey, <laughs> where'd that come from? Um, and then, uh, yeah, John on bass, French horn, trumpet, and then second lead vocal on Success Story, Keith Moon drums, Nikki Hopkins on the piano, Glenn Johns did the producing. Okay. So I like the lyrics of Imagine a Man, uh, but the song itself, I wasn't huge on, to be honest. Um, thought the acoustic guitar was great, though. I think Pete did a great job with that. Um, but I kept feeling every time they build up they just uh, kind of deflate the balloon and go back to building back up and then deflate the balloon and if that's what they were trying to do that's what they're trying to do whatever but um i like the lyrics more than i like the the instrumentation on that song to be honest but uh it's still solid track uh did that second one oh my god bro that's going on every playlist i'm not even lying dude that's a that's an across the board kind of song right there because i could put that on in any like any time of the day and that riff will get me going bro because I, I feel all jazzed up right now as i say uh, i love when music does that because half the time no no not, not half the time about quarter of the time it doesn't you know and uh I, I was saying this in Discord the other day. Like, I'm a heart on my sleeve kind of guy. You can usually tell if I like something or if I don't, you know, um, just by, like, my body language and how I talk and such. Um, but I've always never really had a problem with the Who, though. Trying to think of a... No? Yeah. No? Even Behind Blue Eyes, I like that song, you know? That's a good song. And I, <laughs> I, I didn't realize that they did that. And I knew the Limp Biscuit cover from when I was a kid. I thought that was funny. Uh, but they're, they're always solid, man. They're such a great band. One of the best of all time, hands down. And um, this is fun. Just being able to go through a lesser known album and finding like deep cuts that people forgot about probably or they never heard in the first place. Like, I think that's really cool. It may not uh, bring the views in. Like if I did, like, who are you or what's one that's big? Um, Bob O'Reilly or something like that. There's plenty of ones I probably could bust out and get like a ton of views on. But you guys know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this is my rule of thumb. As long as one video a day does good, I don't care what the rest is. That's my rule of thumb, and it's worked so far. Everyone's been happy. Well, not, not everybody. For the most part, 90% of people have been happy, you know? <laughs> Some people just click off immediately. They see the intro, and like 50% immediately are just gone, just like that. I think that's funny, but... The people who do stay are worth it, and I appreciate you guys so much. Obviously, my favorite song uh, out of that was Success Story. And, um, yeah, definitely told the rise of a rock band um, who may or not be named something that rhymes with uh, the schmoo. <laughs> um, definitely sound like a party animal rock and roll kind of song. That riff and that bass was just gnarly. It sounded like he was, like, pulling out the Chris Squire and playing it like a guitar at points in that second track. That was great. Um, and then when he did pop up in the first one too, for that, like one section, I thought that was excellent. Ox always brings it, man. And Keith, his toms in this sounded so, especially in the first one, they, they sounded like far away, you know what I mean? And just, he would come out of nowhere and kind of like far, like the distance, it sounded like the mic was really far away, but you know, still sounded cool. Um, I think he got the shine more in the second track, obviously that wasn't a, 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 like an acoustic ballad. Um, that was a supercharged kind of who song right there. But that riff from Pete, Ox holding it down with the bass, and then you throw in Keith on drums. Excellent, bro. This Tom's just, he was pounding those motherfuckers going all the way through. I love Keith, bro. He's the best. Um, wish he was still here to be drumming away. Because I know, um, who I, I don't know what Pete's doing. Um, there's somebody who's doing stuff still. I don't know if it's Pete or it's Roger. 
I, I know obviously Keith and John are gone, but um, I, maybe they're still doing stuff together. Cause I saw like a concert that was in the past couple years, I think that they did, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like that's crazy. You know, like <laughs> that there's so many bands from back in the day. This is, this just shows like the substance of back in the sixties and the seventies. There's still bands operating today and making tons of money, selling tons of tickets, selling out arenas, going on world tours still with their wheelchairs and everything. You know what I mean? That's how good this era was. There's not going to be any people from the 2010s or 2020s still performing into their 80s and their 70s. Let's be honest. I'm more than likely there's not. Maybe there'll be like 1% or 2% that will be. But the Rolling Stones are still going. Like, come on, man. Like, it's just crazy, bro. You guys were so lucky. So, so lucky. I wish I was there. But at least I have, I guess, the internet in this little box I'm in to, you know, enjoy these songs with you guys. But I wish I was there to actually um, enjoy them with y'all. But alas, here I am in 2024 so i guess we'll see what happens right <laughs> um but yeah thanks for watching guys uh, i guess we'll move on next week to the next two songs on side two which are they are all in love and blue ray uh, blue ray blue red and gray which apparently is a big song because it's got its own wikipedia page so there you go all right y'all i'll see you later Bye bye hello one more thing we have a really cool patreon community uh if you want to come join Join the $15 tier, we're up, you get one free request a month. Um, there's other, you know, tiers and such for other amounts of requests. If you want to do two, you want to do three, I got whatever you need. <laughs> uh, there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I will see you later. <laughs>